Hello, my name is Fudge Schroeder. I'm a software developer here at Scribe Software. And today we'll be demonstrating developing a connector and we're going to be making a Hello World connector. Um, so the, the goals for this are to provide a minimal implementation of a connector so we can see how a connector interoperates with the Scribe online system as a whole. Uh, we are not going to be, this is not going to be real world code. So this is not an example of a, a, a connector that does anything super useful or um, provides examples of logging or ex exception handling or things like that. Um, so it really is just to see how it interacts with Scribe Online. All right, so let's start building the Hello World connector. I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio here, and I will need to create a new project. And the project we want to create is a C Sharp class library. And I'm going to call this Hello World. generate the basics of the project. Um, I'm going to rename this class here to connector. That's the class we're going to create here. Spell that correctly. And that changed the connector there. Um, and I want this to derive from iConnector. So it's going to implement iConnector, and since we have not uh, added the reference library for Scribe Connector API, I need to add that, and that's going to have the, de the uh, definition for iConnector in it. So I'll go to my references, add a reference, and browse for that. Um, and I, I found this underneath the Scribe the agent installation, so I'm going to add that reference. And now I need a using statement for that. So I add that, and now it knows about iConnector, but you can see that I have not implemented the interface. So we're going to try to implement that. And I'm just going to let it do its work here. And if you look at the methods on the iConnector interface, there's a connect method, a connector type ID, which is just a property, a disconnect method, an execute method, execute operation, and a execute query, as well as a get metadata provider, an is connected method, and a pre-connect. Right now I'm going to go in and shorten these just so that um, we can get a little more real estate on there. So I'm going to have to also add the using statements after I do this. There we go. Now I should be able to clean these up as well. And this is just so you can see a little bit more on the screen as we do this, and it's a little cleaner code. This one's going to require a new using, I think. And so that looks like a little cleaner implementation there. Um, and then back to what we're doing here in this demonstration here, we're going to be talking about discovery of the connector. So we need to let this connector register. Um, so I've built this. I'm going, to, I'm going to build that connector. So we succeeded with that build, but we haven't implemented anything real right now. And now I want to go back into, oh, excuse me, into Scribe Online. And um, show you what we're trying to do here. So if I go to the, what we want to do now is create a new connection of our new connector type. And if I go into connections here, you'll see that in my list of types, I do not have the hello world connector. And that's really what we're trying to do here. We're trying to register the connector with Scribe Online so that it is aware of this new connector that we're building. So that's the first part that we're going to be trying to do here. Okay, so we'll go back to our, we're going to go back to the Visual Studio, and I'm going to explain to you the parts that need to be done to do this. So 
We do need the connector type ID, and then we're also going to need a attribute on top of connector that uh, declares some attributes about the connector. And that's what we use to self-register. So I'm going to create two new classes now. They're going to help us add those values. So the first one is going to be connector settings. I'm just going to use a little hotkey here. So this connector settings has some values, the connector type ID, the connector version, the description, name, and whether or not it supports cloud. As you can see, I've filled these all in, but I need to add a GUID for the connector type ID. So I'm going to use the create GUID to do that. I think that's probably the best format. All right, so I've added a new GUID there. Uh, my version and uh, name look correct. So I'm going to save that. Um, there's also another set of settings that we're going to add here. And I'm going to call this standard connector settings. And this has uh, connector settings that really don't change for third-party connectors very often. Um, in some cases they might, but in, in most cases they will not. So really, there um, no connectors right now are using any settings UI information, so we just keep that blank in 1.0. Uh, the connection UI type name is going to be the generic connection UI, which means we're going to use uh, a form builder to build our connection UI that's uh, built into Scribe Online, and we're going to call we're going to have the UI be 1.0 because we don't really use that at this point. So those are all pretty standard, and you can reuse this file in your own connectors if you'd like. Let's build that, make sure we got everything correct. Okay, so now what we need to do is add that um, attribute in front of uh, the, on top of the connector. So right there's what it looks like. It's called scribe connector. You can see we got a little spread swiggly line under that, which I think is saying that we need to add um, we need to add a reference for this. Because I don't think that's what the squiggly says, but we do need to add a reference. So in this case, we need to, because we use MEF to register connectors, we need to add a reference to system.componentmodel.composition. So add that right there. And what I've done is used the, the two files that we used that we just created, the connector settings and the standard connector settings. I've added those values in there. Um, so we're just taking the connector type ID, the name, and the description um, are the first parameters in this attribute, the type of the connector, and then some standard connector settings. And then finally, we have uh, the roles here, which in this case, we're saying we support four different roles the ones that say IS source and IS target are for basic maps and integration services, and the IS2 source and target are for advanced maps. One other thing we want to do here is to implement this connector type ID, and we can implement that with a standard setting as well. Although this is a GUID instead of a string, so we have to return a new GUID, and then And that should return our GUID properly. So if we build that, we have built a connector that should be discoverable. So what I need to do now is to self-register this connector, I'm going to have to create a new folder on the scribe agent under the connectors folder with the appropriate name for this connector, and then restart the agent and it should self-register, and then we should see it where 
in, this, in the type dropdown for the connections. So let's try to do that. Go to services. Okay, so when this runs, subscribe online services. I'm going to stop that. Then we're going to go over to our scribe online agent location under the connectors folder. Add a new folder. Call that hello world. And then what we want to do is add the output of our project, which we just built, to that hello world folder. So I'm just going to move those over. And then we want to restart the, the scribe online services, scribe online agent. So now if we go back to Scribe Online, we can see that the agent is shut down. And um, one thing to note here is that when Scribe Online restarts, it's going to immediately send a message saying that it's restarted. But then it has some more work to do to self-register the, the new connector that we built. So that mes message may take a little bit longer to get back up to the, the system. So it's running now. And in order to force that to happen so that the next message comes through, I'm going to refresh this page. There are some syncing capabilities that happen, but sometimes they take a little bit of time to happen. And um, really refreshing the page will be the easiest way to get that information across in a timely manner. OK, so we're back in. I'm going to go back to connections. I'm going to create a new connection. And our new type is right there, hello world right at the top. Now when I select hello world, what it's going to try to do is get information about connection details. But since we have not implemented anything about connection at this point, we're going to have we're going to see an error here, a not implemented error. So I'll select that. And right now, the system is sending a message for the, the connection UI down to the agent and the connector. And the connector is responding that it, it's not implemented right now. So we're going to get that error propagated back up to the system. So you can see that it says here, pre-connect failed. If you remember, we went over there as a pre-connect method on, on the connector. And um, we hadn't implemented it. And the method was not implemented. And so that's the error that we get back right there. So what we need to do next is implement connection. And um, before we go on a little bit further, we just want to give you a quick overview of, of the, the whole section that we're going to be doing here. So we just did discovery. And then after that, we're going to follow up with connection, or connecting. Uh, then we'll move on to, and, and connection is going to create specific endpoints for data. and then on to metadata, where a specific connection is going to describe the data and actions, or the types of data and actions that it can use. And then we'll move on to data, where we'll first do reading data, and then later writing data. OK, and that's uh, the beginning of our tutorial here on uh, the Hello World. And we'll move on to connection next.